So this young woman walks into a comedy club. She starts as a waitress and winds up owning the joint. Supporting great public school teachers makes for a great Colorado. Aren't they terrific? We are so grateful to David and Wendy for supporting CEA and public education in such a, a, a visible and an intimate way. Wendy also took a, a whole day out of her busy schedule to record the spot for us. Sign her support poster as well. In fact, you can actually cheer Wendy on right now. Please give a great welcome for Wendy Curtis from the Comedy Club. Thank you so much. What an honor and a thrill, really, to be here today. I'm Wendy. I'm not the Olympic hurdler. <laughs> but I have overcome a lot of hurdles in my life, just like everybody else, and just like you do every day. And I've learned to be creative and to run around the obstacles that I need to run around to get where I need to go. And how I've really gotten here where I am this moment is because I get up every morning and I put on my helmet and my pads and I just hit that football sled, that thing they use in football practice and I keep hitting it and I hit it and I don't take no and I hit it again until I get where I want to be. And each obstacle makes me stronger. And I think that's what you all really have to do every day too. You face cuts and you go back in and you fight for what you need. And you take on all of this always changing curriculum to prepare these kids for a changing global society. And you figure it out and you just get it done because that's what we have to do. And you get stronger every time. So when I was asked if I wanted to work on this project to shoot this commercial, I said absolutely. And that was really without hesitation, I promise you. I said yes because I am a product of public education. Woo! I am a product of you. Wow, it's like you're my parents. <laughs> we are indeed family. I was one of the lucky kids, though. I didn't really get a lot of no's at home. But there was this one no. I wanted to be a supreme, and in particular, I wanted to be the one in the middle. And my dad ever so gently and carefully let me know that while I could be a singing star, I just might not end up being a Motown singing star. <laughs> some kids aren't as lucky as I was, and some, some kids, as you all know, of course, face a lot of difficulties at home, and of all kinds in their young years. And some kids may not realize that they can do anything they want to do. Those kids may not be getting the positive reinforcement anywhere of their dreams and any kind of that support and told of all of the possibilities that lie ahead. But those kids have you. And you can be the difference. You can be their difference. You are their difference. You build those kids up every day in everything you do and you show them what's possible. I spoke to a group of middle school kids last month on career day, and instead of boring them with the mundane details of my supposed flashy showbiz career choice, I told them of my struggles, and I revealed my raging eating disorder that plagued not only my teenage years, but my 20s, and well into my 30s, and the realization at age 47 that I was severely ADHD, and how that explains so much of my life, and most especially my academic career, and really most especially my college career. I told them of the story that it was when it first came up that perhaps I could be a manager with Comedy Works, that one of the original owners said, she's not management material. I reminded those 7th and 8th graders that I now own his company. <laughs> and not 
to let no's define them and not to take no for an answer. There will be people in their lives that will tell these kids no. But when you have told them K through 12, yes, and what is possible, and this is what you can do, and this is what you are capable of doing, they too will put on their helmets and their pads and they will plow through their opponents. And they too may not be management material, because maybe they're owner material. And they too are Olympic hurdlers. And they are so much and so much more and so many things because of you. I wanted to be a part of this project to say thank you. Thank you to Ms. Tim and all of the people that contributed to my public education. I do truly, from my heart, thank all of you. And I'm deeply indebted to you, and I did this for you, and I honor you. And by the way, in February when we shot that commercial, I had a little over 140 employees. Now I have 180.